All right, welcome back, guys, to another video. Um, so, quick little update for you guys. Um, yesterday, I put out a video saying that we're not going to be doing any hiking or anything like that um, until fall. And um, I just want to clarify that it's only hiking. We're still going to be putting out content and all that type of stuff. But the premises of today's video is that... I was just going through some of my old SD cards and I found one of my, my camcorder right here and in it was an SD card I used to film infrared at the Valley of Fire. Now only one of those clips had made it in to that Valley of Fire video but the rest of them were corrupted and I'd had no access to them. So for shits and giggles I put in the SD card in my computer and I was able to get everything up. I could see all the video. The one thing though I didn't know at the time while I was recording them was that this camera doesn't capture audio. Uh, maybe it does. I just haven't found the setting for it yet. But the video clips are all silent. There's no, you can't hear me talking in them. So we're going to be going and doing a voiceover of what I captured during this paranormal investigation. Uh, so this will be everyone's first time seeing this video uh, these video clips I mean and I just want to go over some of it with you guys okay let's let's jump right on into it actually one more thing I have some new videos I'm planning on putting out a new series I'm planning on doing something called um, well I have I need you guys' help while trying to figure out a name but chat GPT was finally released for iPhones and I want to use that app to like create different scenarios and like treasure hunts and stuff like that to do around Vegas. I feel like it would be something fun to do and then I also want to try out Randonautica it's, that's going to be a very juicy series I can tell but anyway into these video clips now this first clip brings us back when we were on the Valley of Fire Highway. I decided to whip out that camera and shoot a little bit of infrared going down uh, just to try and see if we could capture any sign of a skinwalker or just anything that was really out there that would have a heat signature. We didn't, I don't think we caught anything, but I just wanted to try and try it out. And now this next clip brings us back closer to the end of our stay there when we found out other camp spot that we were supposed to be at originally i whip out the camera just to do a little bit of recording like i said it didn't capture any of the audio but i was just going around the camps camp spot uh, i can't talk camp site just showing off a few things what has changed since our last um camp spot like the orientation going over the, our new fire starter and stuff like that and the new fire starter jared got from the gift shop was actually really really good yo and now we come back to the historic cabins where we were there filming earlier in the day uh doing some more investigation stuff and uh we go back there after we leave our last campsite and do a little bit of filming we caught a lot of paranormal evidence i just really wish i filmed with my gopro that was my biggest regret about filming this video was i didn't actually get the important stuff on a camera that i knew actually worked so um we were at the historic cabins capturing infrared trying to get heat signatures we had went down into the little slot canyon down from the cabin and got a bunch of responses and stuff like that on the spirit box and got a bunch of emf readings and type of stuff like that and um this yeah and now this last clip here shows us standing outside of the cabin i was filming jared he had the emf reader in his hand he was sitting on on the rocks just trying to ask questions trying to get the spirits to interact with him try to get them to touch the emf reader to, so it could spike and there was some questionable stuff in this clip that I would love to go over. I can't debunk them as paranormal per se, but it could definitely be like a just a weird phenomenon. Like, um, is this right over here? No, we'll keep going here. 
And then I had to look up because it looked like there was a figure standing up on top of the ridge. But right here, there was a really weird flash at the bottom left there you just saw. I don't know exactly what that was. It was definitely some weird hit heat signature. Uh, I can't really explain that. And that would happen off and on during this whole entire clip here. And then, let me see here. Yeah, that was me looking up there. And then something flew by. I don't know if that was an orb, an anomaly, or a bug. But that's essentially the gist of what we had captured on video. But just let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I'd love to know. Also, just because of how I was feeling about me not getting good evidence on camera, especially in the original video, we are going to be making a return to Valley of Fire. Uh, it's, going, it's not going to be this summer. It's going to be closer towards the end of the year. But I would love to go back there and actually get evidence on camera for you guys. So that's all that there was that I had on that. SD card, but um, if you guys saw anything that could be deemed paranormal or something that's interesting to you, please feel free to drop a comment down below because I would love to have some input on this stuff. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, click that bell, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>